students, it's Janelle. I am a lifelong sunlighter and right now I'm homeschooling my three children. Today I wanted to share with you practically how I use the instructor's guide and some options for how you can set yours up. Let's get started. I have here my Level B, History, Bible, Literature, Science, and Language Arts instructor's guides each week behind each tab. I personally really like this because I like having everything all together, but I know for some people they prefer not to have this one large binder. Here's a few options for you. Some people take this map from the beginning and instead of leaving it at the front, they go ahead and use it as an additional divider so that they can track their progress and so that they have it each week where they need it. Another option that people often choose is to pull out smaller sections. A lot of times people take like six weeks and they put that into a smaller binder. This can really help you feel like I'm making good progress. I can easily see that I'm moving ahead. And if that's the type of person you are, that's great. Another option for how you can break up this instructor's guide is to make a separate student working binder filled with the activity sheets, particularly from science and language arts. Again, it decreases how many pages you're looking at every day and allows them to have some feeling of like, hey, I have my own school stuff that I'm responsible for. Another option that some people choose is to um, disregard the binder entirely and bring it to a local print shop and just have it be spiral bound. They like the flexibility of being able to turn the pages all the way over. Sunlight is great because they have just done everything to make this as easy as possible for us to be flexible and use what helps our brains and our minds to be able to teach with ease. The way I choose to use the instructor's guide is I just open it up to whatever week I'm working on. I typically start by writing in my start date and my end date, and then I go ahead and just start with day one. I'm going to look at the title of the book and then just do the assigned lesson. This is so easy. When people say, oh my goodness, I can't believe you homeschool, that's overwhelming, I say, not at all. I open, I look and see what I'm going to do, and then I make a check mark and I'm done. I typically do a full day here in history, Bible, literature, a full day here in language arts, and then I, like several people, many people, um, oftentimes use a horizontal format for science. So this just means that I will be working on history all week long and then I'll maybe save a day where I've got a little bit of extra time and go ahead and do all of the science readings all together. Kids can just get into their science books and they just love reading page after page. That's so fun. I then have the kids go ahead and do the activity sheets. I am able to take advantage of the section three for my read alouds, for discussion questions, my timeline figures and map points, all of those things Sunlight has already provided. This is how I do sunlight. I just open it and get started. This is what makes homeschooling so easy. You don't need to be overwhelmed. You absolutely can do this. Sunlight truly is open and go. Check out our other videos for more tips and tricks to get you started to have your most successful year of sunlight yet.